Well, you guys got another video here for you on how to access Android phone storage directly in Windows 11 from File Explorer. So on your PC, what you need to do here is do a search for your mobile device. Once you do this, open up the mobile device settings in system settings here. And this is what you're going to see right here. And it says, allow this PC to access your mobile device. So what we need to do is we need to toggle this on. So when we turn this feature on, once that's done, a little box will pop up saying sign in. And you can see it's using my account for my Microsoft account here. And what you can do here is we can continue here by using this account to connect to this device. So you can see here to see your mobile devices, you must sign into your Microsoft account above. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to push continue here. And from there, what it's going to do is allow you to connect uh, to your account. Once you've connected to your account, you should see something looking like this. Confirm your mobile device and there'll be a bit of code here. You need to type that code in and this will then allow you to connect your mobile to your PC. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'll blurred that out because it's a sensitive bit of information that you should keep to yourself. And you may also see it on your phone where you can confirm that on your phone. You can see here it's going to be unlocked. It's giving permission on your mobile device. And you then accept that on your mobile device uh, to talk to the PC. So it's a two-way thing. You have to do it on the PC and on the mobile phone. Once you're done, it says you're all set. And you can push continue. And you will then be able to connect your mobile phone to your computer or laptop without using a USB cable. It's very quick and easy to do. And once we push continue here, we'll then be able to see all of our phone data on the computer through File Explorer. If you're running Windows 11 24H2, you will then be able to access all of your phone data through File Explorer here. Uh, but I'm on 23H2 here, but I'll show you exactly what it's going to look like if you're on 24H2. You do get that extra privilege of being able to access the actual uh, phone data on the File Explorer here. So here you see it says, Welcome to Phone Link. Uh, from here, you can open Phone Link when you sign into Windows, and you can also send text messages, view your photos, and make a, a call here by using the Make a Call button. We're going to skip this for now. And from here, you can see all of your messages listed down here. I've blurred all mine out here. But you can see we've got access to our photos, calls and messages right here in your phone. Really super easy to do. And if you want to quickly gain access to all of your media, photos and stuff like that on your phone, onto your computer, you can do this without any sort of cable, which makes this super easy. Now, if we look at Microsoft's website, if you're running 24H2, you can see the ability to access your Android phone files in File Explorer, and it's starting to be rolled out. So if you have upgraded to the latest version, you will see something looking like this in File Explorer when you're connected to your phone. You'll be able to gain access to all of the phone information via the File Explorer here. So you will need to have at least Android 11 or higher, and you can see here you'll be running the beta version of the Link to Windows app on Windows 11. Also, it says you are registered in the Windows Insider program. That's because it's a new feature and you will see something looking like this. On my system, I don't see the access files in File Explorer because I'm not on 24H2. I'm on 23H2 and you can see it's not been rolled out for me just yet. But if I did, it would be listed right here and you'll be able to toggle that on and be able to connect to it and be able to access all that information via File Explorer itself, which is going to be very useful to a lot of people. So inside here, you'll be able to access it through this method right here. Uh, as you can see, it's not available on this version of Windows just yet, or maybe it's just not been rolled out to me yet for an update. Once I update, that option will be available right there in the mobile phone's devices. Now you can just turn this off if you want to enable this feature or disable it at any time you want. You just toggle these off and it will disconnect you or disconnect your phone uh, from that computer and it won't connect again. But you can see up here, we do have access to photos and we also have messages and calls here. And this will give you access to all of that stuff via this little uh, phone link right here. 
And that's pretty much it. If you want to turn it off at any time, you could just toggle it off like so, and it will disconnect and it won't be able to be connected to via this method until you re-enable it. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Quick shout out to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on the Discord server for a chat. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.